Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're taking a look at Legally Blonde from 2001. <laughs> uh, I have not seen this, of course. I know of the character that uh, Reese Witherspoon plays. I mean, it's been everywhere. You kind of know she's, uh, you know, in this situation, whatever. But I'm excited to uh, kind of see where this goes, I guess. I, all of you out there liked it. I, maybe I'll have some fun. Who knows? Yeah, well, I, I remember the trailers from back in the day, but that's about as far as it went. I never saw it. I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to give it a chance because you guys have all put it over so well. So I'm ready to go. God, I think it's been since Never Ending Story that I've seen a movie oh, that, the two of, oh no. that the two of you haven't. Uh, so I have seen this one, although it was, uh, what, this came out in 01? Yeah. I might have saw it right around when it came out. So it's been uh, 20 plus years. God, that makes me feel old. What? So I, For some uh, reason, I like to think that it keeps the lights on at TBS. I, uh, <laughs> I remember uh, a few details from the movie, but uh, after not having seen it for 20 years, most of it's going to be pretty much just a blur. So here we are. All right. Without further ado, let's, let's go. go. Luke Wilson. Wilson. There we go. This is Selma Blair. Was it? Two, two, it's two years before he does old school <laughs> for Luke really? Wilson. Yeah. Oh, Luke Wilson in old school in old 304. Oh, oh hacky sack. sack. Jennifer Coolidge. Stifler's mom. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who? Stifler's mom. Uh, oh, yeah, then, yeah, 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 I know who that is. Well, she was in uh, Best in Show. Too. Yeah. Hi, guys. Oh, Allie Larder. Before. Uh... No, right after Varsity Blues. Oh, it was. Okay. Yeah, Varsity Cosmo. Blues was 99. <laughs> Cosmo. Is that even around anymore? I don't know. The worst advice magazine oh, of all ever. time. <laughs> Linda Cardinelli. She's had a nice career. And she was in Grandma's So Boy. is Reese Witherspoon a pledge, or is she already in the sorority? I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> Old Stonewall Jackson over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that bathroom is that clean with that many girls in there doing it. I've Jeez. I lived with girls in college. There is no way. <laughs> Makeup all over the place. The <laughs> shopping. Okay, Bruiser, what's this? Bruiser. <laughs> Bruiser. <laughs> I was give him a spike collar. Good luck tonight, Ellen Warner forever. <sighs> Oh my God. You guys are so sweet. He just had lunch with his grandmother. You know he got the rock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What's what that? Superstar? <laughs> I think that was the Rosie the Riveters. Oh, yeah. He's proposing. I, I can't look like I would on any other date. There's nothing I love more than a dumb blonde with daddy's plastic. Is this low viscosity rayon? Uh, yes, of course. Let's just pluck the tag off yeah. it. Possible to use a half loop top stitching on low viscosity rayon, it would snag the fabric. So if you're trying to sell it to me for full price, you pick the wrong girl. Oh, Boom. what do you think of that? Wow. Ouch. Judging a book by its cover. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? It's dark out. <laughs> that's that's how Mason Quinn rolls into the office every time. He even knocks on the door, even though he's got the key card. You wow. know, I don't know if I've ever seen the beginning of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's strange having such perfect eyes. Here's to us. To us. Oh, all oh. oh, that body language. Oh. He didn't take a drink. One of the reasons I wanted to come here tonight was to discuss our future. And I am fully amenable to that discussion. If I'm going to be a senator by the time I'm 30, I need to stop digging around. I completely agree. I think I we do. should break up. Oh. Oh. I thought you were proposing. If I'm going to be a senator, well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. Oh. oh. You said that you would always love me and you were just dicking around. I just can't marry you. My brother's in the top three at Yale Law and he just got engaged to a Vanderbilt for Christ's sake. 
<laughs> I, I pierced shrieking. Bad salad. Bad salad. The, the guy at the table, he was in Hot Tub Time Machine. You get the car, uh, I'll get the check. Come on, let me take you home. No. Believe me, I never expected to do this, but I think it's the right thing. <laughs> this guy <laughs> just, just like <laughs> it's the It's the right thing. <laughs> Because you're afraid your family won't like me? Everybody likes me. I told you, I need someone serious. I'm seriously in love with you. Pooh Bear, just get in the car. Ugh. You're gonna ruin your shoes. Oh, they're all gonna be, they're yeah, all gonna be waiting, waiting up. Big news. I think I may have misspoke. I don't remember seeing the first half of this. <laughs> I have been exactly paying attention. Oh, oh, bro, just, just, just <laughs> See ya. And they're all going to be just waiting inside for her to come in. Well, no, because she they would know something's up. Yeah, she, she got back that early. early. No, I guess not. Morning, Amy. I can't believe they robbed us of the scene of her getting back. Yeah. You know, all her friends would have been waiting up. I'm, I'm having trouble with this whole lip liner thing. It's terrible. He dumped her. <laughs> 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 What's the one thing that always makes us feel better no matter what? Oh, the, the brunette. I know her from some from some movies. God. <laughs> Do you know who this is? That's Warner's older brother. And his fiance, Lane Walker Vanderbilt. First year, Yale Law. This is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. Oh, uh, that's how the whole story starts. Law school? It's a perfectly respectable place, Daddy. Law school's for people who are boring and ugly and serious. <laughs> Jew Button are none of those things. <laughs> I supportive dad, I guess. <laughs> Harvard Law School? Oh, my God. That's right. What are your backups? I don't need backups. Excellent recommendations from your professors and a heck of an admissions essay. At least a 175 on your LSATs. Thanks. Oh, what have I seen her in before? Welcome. God, I know uh, one thing I saw on was National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon, but other than that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Girls, I'm going to Harvard. Road trip? <laughs> no, I'm going to Harvard Law School. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I know you're upset about all this, but can't you just take a Percocet? <laughs> <laughs> Here. You're gonna need this. You're scrunchy. It helped me pass Spanish. Pass. <laughs> my name is Elle Woods, and for my admissions essay, why I'm gonna make an amazing lawyer. I'm skilled at commanding the attention of a room and discussing very important issues. <laughs> oh. Get set and go. Trades a 175, right? Yeah. Oh, that was it. She just had one practice and then went for it, huh? <laughs> 175! Hey! 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 hey. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> I guess we should have figured. Well, yeah. That's why you should vote for me, Elwood. <laughs> <laughs> a fashion major? Well, sir, we've never had one before, and aren't we always looking for diversity? She was in a Ricky Martin video. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Welcome to Harvard. No. Okay. Come on. Well, there you go. Got in. Where is your <laughs> dog is just cracking me up. This is our new house for the next three years. Oh, are you thirsty? Oh, look at all the judgy McJudgersons. Hey, Brad, check out Malibu Barbie. Guys, this way. In LA. Come on, Bruiser. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. Now, don't be scared. 22 blonde, her license plate. Hi. Woods, comma, L. Wait a second, um, my social events calendar is missing. Mixers, formals, clam bakes, trips to the Cape. <laughs> <laughs> trips to the Cape. Hey, welcome to law school. 
<laughs> this is the part where we go around in a circle. My name is David Kidney. I have a master's. Yeah, I single-handedly organized the march for lesbians against drunk driving. Killer. Good times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and this is Breezer Woods. <laughs> he growled. And last year, I was homecoming queen. <laughs> <laughs> Back, Those little smoking jackets. <laughs> Look at he's got a little tie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy, here it is. L? I totally forgot you go here. He doesn't have his hair slick. No. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. I have to go to class, but um, meet me after on the benches, okay? God, I forget uh, this is before. Oh my God! All that. I was gonna say before everybody had laptops, but maybe not. Those laptops you had like five hundred megabytes of memory. <laughs> Are you shaved? No. <laughs> and those of you in the front row, beware. The law is reason free from passion. Does anyone know who spoke those immortal words? Yes. Aristotle. Would you be willing to stake your life on it? I recommend knowing before speaking. And you were right. <laughs> <laughs> who can tell us about Gordon versus Steele? <laughs> Actually, um, I wasn't aware that we had an assignment. Uh, Do you think it's acceptable oh, that Ms. Woods is. is not prepared? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you support my decision to ask her to leave class? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 oh, that guy. That dude's my new favorite. He's got some crazy eyes going on. Now, Miss Kensington, did diversity jurisdiction exist in this case? Hey! hey. hey. Who's that young looking fella? Excuse me. Are you okay? Did they just put you on the spot like that, like all the time? Professors? Yeah, they, they tend to do that. But she did make me cry once. I mean, not in class. I waited till I got back to my room, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, though, it gets better. Who else do you have? Callahan, Royalton, and Leventhal. Speak up in Callahan's class. He really likes people that are opinionated. Wow. I'm really glad I met you. Are, are you a third year? Hey, well, I'm a... Thanks for all your help. Good luck. Hi. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> how was your first class? Good, except for this horrible preppy girl who tried to make me look bad. So, how was your summer? It's good. Did you do anything exciting? Uh... Oh. oh. Have uh, we met uh, Viv? Do you know her? She's uh... I'm his fiance. Oh! Oh! The what? Fiance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just hallucinated. Well, we got back together this summer at my my grandmother's birthday party. Warner told me all about you. He didn't tell me you'd be here. Who Vera? I didn't know she would oh. be here. Oh! That's her name. A cheap version of Tom Brady messed up. Hey, where's Bruiser? Thank God. And there's Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, there this was after the first American Pie. Are you free? It's an emergency. Are you dying? <laughs> <laughs> I worked so hard to get into law school, all to get my boyfriend Warner back, so it was all for nothing, and I, I just wish I had never gone to Harvard. I'm with my guy eight years, and then one day it's, I met someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey kept the trailer and my precious baby Rufus. Aww. I didn't even get to throw him a birthday party. He's a guy who followed his pecker to greener pastures. <laughs> so what's this Vivian got that you don't have? Three tits? <laughs> <laughs> She's not completely unfortunate looking. Unfortunate. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Could I have been any more goddamn spastic? Are you sure this Warner guy is like the one? Definitely. A girl like you can't hold on to her man. There sure as hell isn't any hope for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> 
steal the bastard back. You will also be competing for one of my firm's four internship spots, where you will get to assist on actual cases. Now, let's commence with our usual torture. Would you rather have a client who committed a crime malum in se or malum prohibitum? Neither. And why is that? I would rather have a client who's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Kensington, which would you prefer? Malum prohibitum. Well done, Ms. Kensington. <laughs> oh, showing off the <laughs> ring. <laughs> it looks like so set. awkward. Yes, Ms. Woods. I changed my mind. I'd pick the dangerous one because I'm not afraid of a challenge. Oh. How does she have time to set up all these accessories? Guys. <laughs> Hi. Tell me he doesn't look a little like Tom Brady. He doesn't look, he's handsome in a Tom Brady handsome way, but he doesn't look like Tom Brady. He looks similar. He has, Folks, you be the judge. He doesn't look like Tom Brady. And look, I brought sustenance. But I sustenance. get where you're I brought first. sustenance. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, is this like an RSVP thing? A smart people thing? Come on, guys. Oh. We can make room for one more. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. Oh, okay. I'll just sleep then. Oh, she's... Selma's doing such a, such good, a good job. Such a good job of being unlikable. Maybe there's, like, a sorority you could, like, join instead, like. If you had come to a rush party, I would have at least been nice to you. Is that before you voted against me and then called me a dyke behind my back? You must have heard it from Vivian. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's on her Kleenex box, too. <laughs> it's Elle. Oh my God. Guess what I'm doing. Josh proposed. <laughs> Did you get the rock yet? Hurry up so you can come home. We miss you. Come home? What? <laughs> like, yeah. that's not up. I almost forgot to tell you. I got bangs. Yeah, at least the dog's down to just a collar. Mm -hmm. Well, this time. And don't forget to bring your own Merlot. Is somebody at the school actually having a party? But it's a costume party. You probably wouldn't want to come. Oh no. I love costume parties. Well, then I guess we'll see you there. I know where this one's Oh going. gosh, they're so mean. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, girls. This party is super fun. We could do it in the background. <laughs> yeah, the, the weird dude. <laughs> Except when I dress up as a frigid bit. I try not to look so oh. constant. <laughs> There you go, throwing it back a little. Oh, she was, her friend was even left. You've got the ring, sweetie. Oh my god. How you doing? Wow. Well, don't you look like a walking felony? Thank you. You're so sweet. Oh. <laughs> you know, I feel like we barely oh, get to just see put his hands on our way? Been here. I know what you mean. Yeah. I can't imagine doing all this and Callahan's internship next year. Come on, you're never going to get the grades to qualify for one of those spots. You're not smart enough. Oh. Wait, am I on glue or did we not get into the same law school, Warner? She's starting to get I'm it. I'm never going to yeah. be good enough for you, am I? I'll show you how valuable Elle Woods can be. <laughs> She's still in her costume. Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. <laughs> I thought it was raining on the side of the street. It, it, it was before, too, uh, yeah. that they did that. Oh, look. Man, my guy. There he is. Cool. Crazy eyes. Oh, bad he still has his He still has his collars <laughs> underneath his sweatshirt. You filed a claim. What next? Don't you need to have evidence? And what kind of evidentiary support? <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is like the early 2000s version of like a training montage. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. see? <laughs> <laughs> How'd they get the dog to stay that and calm? It's incredible. To negate men's Ah, she's turning it on now. Okay, this looks like a smart part of town to be a part uh, No, she's going to go get Rufus back. Are you ready? I hope you're right. Uh, yes, yes, you are. You can do this. 
<laughs> Cousin Eddie or what? <laughs> that's it's Ralph, isn't it? Uh, well, well, Dewey's the. I'm just joking. Oh. I'm like Cousin Eddie, National right. Lampoon's yeah. the motorhome. I thought you were calling him Dewey because that's where. Uh, so that was in Scream. He hey, was hey, it's this guy. What the hell you just thought you could come here and show me what I'm definitely not missing? That's not why I came by. I'm Elle Woods, Miss Bonifante's attorney, and I'm here to discuss the legal situation at hand. Well, due to habeas corpus. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Bonifante is entitled to full canine property ownership. I'm taking the dog, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, it. look at Rufus. Gosh, did you see him? He's probably still scratching his head. Must be a nice vacation for his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many times they had to do that line with him not cracking up. <laughs> so if we're sticking to past precedent, Mr. Latimer wasn't stalking. But Swinney was a one-time sperm donor. Well, yeah, but I mean, without this man's sperm, the child in question wouldn't exist. <laughs> God, everybody looks over for approval. God, that hat. I have to wonder if the defendant kept a record of every sperm emission made throughout his life. Interesting. Why do you ask? He has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? <laughs> <laughs> All masturbatory emissions where his sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be termed reckless abandonment. I believe you've just won your case. <laughs> reckless <laughs> abandonment for the win, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it was. You're applying for my internship, uh, aren't you? I don't know. They should. You have a resume? Yes, I do. Well, is it a headshot? Look at the dog. It's, it's pink. pink. <laughs> She's pink. Okay, we'll see you next class. <laughs> you think she just woke up one morning and said, I think I'll go to law school for that. <laughs> that lapse in judgment aside, I think she's got a lot of potential. Smell this. <laughs> it's her resume. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I didn't expect these two to have like an ongoing thing throughout the movie. I thought it'd just be a bit part, but I wow. don't. That only days one more. <laughs> Everybody clear. Do you remember when we spent those four hours in the hot tub after winter formal? <laughs> <laughs> so before No. God, I love it. Excuse me, I have some shopping to do. Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta say, Zella Blair is cl crushing oh, us. She's so God. Good. You look very nice today, Vivian. Thank you. She loves those turtlenecks, doesn't mm -hmm. she? Yep. That is her thing. Uh, I can't, can't get on board with turtlenecks. <laughs> Gold digger? You'd think so, since the stiff was 60, but you know her. She's a Delta new. She can make you lose like three pounds in one class. Completely gifted. Oh, well, in all likelihood, she's completely guilty. She was seen standing over her husband's dead body. I just don't think Brooke could have done this. Exercise gives you endorphin. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husband. Case closed. <laughs> okay, hey, how do you do it? Oh, hey, hey there's Allie Larder. I was wondering what we'd see that. Bent out to check his heart, screamed my head off, and then Enrique and Chutney ran inside. Where they saw you standing over the body covered in his blood. Why would I kill my husband? Insurance? He was 34 years older than you. Doesn't look so good to a jury. Then show them a picture of his dick. That might clear a few things up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but a jury is gonna want an alibi. And if you put me on the stand, I'll lie. I'm a Delta New, and I'm a huge fan of yours. <laughs> you took my class in LA. Uh-huh. Are you one of my lawyers? Uh, yeah, sort of. Thank God one of you has a brain. I'm the only one that believes her. <laughs> Kelly and totally thinks she's guilty. Afternoon, ladies. Hey, how's it going? I've got a package. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's right there. <laughs> How you doing today? Hi. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> See you later. Is this the only interaction you two have ever had? Sometimes I say okay instead of fine. Why don't you offer him a cold beverage or a neck massage or something? Trust me, Paulette, you have all the equipment. I'm gonna show you a little maneuver that my mother taught me in junior high. 
<laughs> Mom, daughter, and junior high. It has an 83% rate of return on dinner invitation. I think I dropped something on the floor that I need to pick up. So you bend and snap. <laughs> That's her mom daughter. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Bend and snap. <laughs> like Ole. Like this? Good snap. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get everyone in there everyone to do it, doing it. You can do it. Bend and snap. <laughs> 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 Getting everybody in on it. My money is on the angry daughter or the ex-wife. Didn't need the insurance payoff or the inheritance. All I know is that it's not Brooke. That's touching out. I brought you some necessities. Some Calvin Klein 720 count sheet. <laughs> 20. Candles. A loofah. I don't know if she'll be able to have the candles. Uh. The Bible. <laughs> You're an angel. I have to tell you the real reason I came here. Professor Callahan says we really, really need your alibi. I can't. It could save you. No, that's just it. It would ruin me. On the day of Hayworth's murder, <sighs> I was getting light Huh? Light <laughs> No! <laughs> I'd rather go to jail than lose my reputation. Your secret's safe with me. Vivian, grab me some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, Vivian. Our client apparently had a visit from her sister. The hell do you mean you went to visit her? I went to get her alibi. What is it? Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I want the alibi. I can't give it to you. Someone reason with her while I do. <laughs> we're gonna lose this case if you don't. Well, then we're not very good lawyers. I gave her my word, Warner. So what? Uh... Oh, that's the kind of guy he is. What do you think of that, Vivian? Yeah. Emmett. Yeah. Go with her. This is a person who's made her living by telling women that they're too fat. Brooke would never tell a woman that she was too fat. You know, you're really being a butthead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Emmett, you just need to have a little more faith in people. You might be surprised. I can't believe you just called me a butthead. So this is what a spa looks like. <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at that car. Yeah. The white walls. Is that Raquel Mrs. Welch? Wyndham Vandermark? It is Raquel yeah. Welch. Oh. So, you found me. <laughs> All wrapped up. So, I hear that that little tart from California <laughs> shot poor Hayworth. Do you have any reason to believe that it did? Never actually met the woman. Well, she did say that they humped like gorillas. I guess it wasn't enough, though, for Brooke. She's lying. And you know this for a fact. Being a blonde is actually a pretty powerful thing. You hold more cards than you think you do. Yeah. How do you think I look as a blonde, you know? Not like your brother. Well, yeah, that's your brother. That's the blonde, not you. Wow. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> See that little look? Girls like me don't go out with losers like you. Oh. Why didn't you call me? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> sorry for what? For breaking my heart? I'm mean, just taking it away. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> when did you want to go out? <laughs> I would have preferred to just book chop this. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you done with that deposition yet? I've read it like 20 times. She wants to get the alibi from her, I bet. No, I don't remember any of this. I'm not spoilers. I still can't believe you didn't tell Callahan the alibi. It's not my alibi to tell. And I thought that was very classy of you. Is she being honest here? You ever notice how Callahan never asks Warner to bring him his coffee? Well, men are helpless, you know that. I know, Warner doesn't even do his own laundry. I know, he has to have it sent out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know when he first applied? He got waitlisted. His father had to make a call. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like she's starting oh, to relax a, a little bit. Precious dog, hi. Yeah, dog. It's all mad looking. We're here today covering the trial of Brooke Wyndham. First to testify are the victim's daughter and ex-wife. And what was the defendant doing? She was sitting next to the pool, <laughs> topless. While the Latin boy handed her a drink. <laughs> Have you 
you and Mrs. Wyndham had sexual relations? Yes, okay? Court will reconvene tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You know a Delta Nu would never sleep with a man who wears a thong. <laughs> I know. I believe you, Brooke. Take care of me, Al. I will. Are we gonna try it out? No, we're gonna do it. Okay. I hear the song playing in the background, I believe in miracles. <laughs> oh, come on! He's nervous, too. I got a big one for you. <laughs> Oh, she's going to do it. Nope. Oh, she's going to drop it. <laughs> she literally just going <laughs> to... Slow, <laughs> slow motion with a sound effect. <laughs> yes. I got it. Oh! oh! <laughs> I didn't even see. You broke his nose? <laughs> Don't stomp your little last season Prada shoes at me, honey. They're last season. <sighs> What's she going to put together with the shoes? He's gay. Enrique is gay. Back up. How do you know that he's gay? Gay men know designers. Know what? He did leave a share tape in the pool house one time. <laughs> <laughs> if that's all the proof that he has, Your Honor, I think I'm done here. You may step I'd like to ask a couple of questions, Your Honor. Just give me a couple. Did he almost do the shoulder? Did you ever take Mrs. Wyndham on a date? Yes. A restaurant in Concord where no one could recognize us. And how long have you been sleeping with Mrs. Wyndham? Three months. And your boyfriend's name is? Chuck. Right. <laughs> got him. We <laughs> 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 got the shortest. I thought you said friend. Chuck is just a friend. Oh, okay. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's all falling apart. Sit down, Mr. Salvatore. <laughs> Silence! <in my> <laughs> <heart mode. laughs> Chuck, don't look. Oh my god, that was great. Oh. Callahan asked to see you before you leave. Come on in. You followed your intuition today. You were right on target. I, I should have listened. About the alibi. I'm sorry. I'm impressed that you took the initiative to go there and get it. Have you thought about where you might be summer associate? A firewall. Oh, oh, no. I didn't see that coming. Are you hitting on me? You're a beautiful girl. So everything you just said? I'm a man who knows what he wants. Bad. I thought you were a law student who wanted to be a lawyer. Oh, I did not see that twist. That part I did remember. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> do be just a creep. I'm like that guy was he was such a good guy in Titanic, yeah, they, right? They tricked you. Yep. Everybody loved him in Titanic. You almost had me fooled. Hey. I'm quitting. Law school was a mistake. This whole internship was a mistake. Callahan only gave me that internship because he liked the way I looked. Cal Callahan did what? More boring suits and more pantyhose, and we're trying to be something that I'm just just not. What if you're trying to be somebody you are? Call me if you're ever in California, okay? Oh, come on. <clears throat> she had a whole moving truck. <laughs> man. All people see when they look at me is blonde hair and big boobs. I just felt like that someone expected me to, to do something more with my life than just become a Victoria's Secret model. That I was just kidding myself. Oh, I think she's going to have a story for her, I bet. No, oh, you're not a joke. The hell with law school. That's an interesting shot. I just wanted to say goodbye. If you're oh. going to let one stupid prick ruin your life. Yes! <laughs> you're not the girl I thought you were. Here we That's thought. That's all it took. Here we thought. Coolidge was going to be the yeah. I thought one to make the speech. Was going to have some kind of story about you know being a similar situation. Absolutely. It's a little thing I like to call strategy. Fine, but is he an ass that's going to win my case? He's an ass that's going to try. Elle quit. Callahan hit on her, so she quit. Scumbag. Oh God, well, I made a huge mistake. Well, maybe there's something we can do about it. You're fired. Oh. I have new representation. Who? <laughs> 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 Oh, look at the New Balance yeah. sneakers. Is that, is that, our, is that my guy? Crazy eyes? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, crazy eyes. God, he's awesome. But how can 
she's not a lawyer yet. She didn't pass the bar or anything, right? Well, you can... Maybe she can work with... Uh, Massachusetts Supreme Judicial oh. Court Rule 3.03. Approach the bench. You're not going up there. I have no problem with this. <laughs> I do. I'm not allowing it. Oh, but you agreed last night. You need a licensed attorney to supervise you. I'll supervise, Your Honor. <laughs> what is she wearing? It's very appropriate for court. Enjoy prison. You do realize what you're doing. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, there she is. Ellen! Ellen! Oh, Jesus Christ! Ms. Woods, you may begin your questioning. When you arrived back at the house, was your father there? Not that I saw. When you came downstairs, what happened? I saw Brooke standing over his body. Mrs. Wyndham didn't have a gun. No, she'd stashed it by then. To strike that from the record, Your Honor, it's speculation. I had a good call. Come on, get your confidence. You can do it. Did you hear a shot fired? No, I was in the shower. Miss Wyndham, what had you done earlier that day? Got a latte, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. Why would you wash your hair? Had you ever gotten a perm before? Two a year since I was 12. You know, a girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko, got a perm once. We all tried to talk her out of it. Curls weren't a good look for her. She didn't have your bone structure. <laughs> Why is this relevant? <laughs> oh, I have a point, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Chenny, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? Because they got wet. Exactly. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocalate? Yes. And wouldn't somebody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule? And if, in fact, you weren't washing your hair, as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if, in fact, you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to have found Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. Isn't that right? She's my age. You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Oh. Order, order, order. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bailiff, Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> so brilliant in there. I was wrong. You are the girl for me. Mm -hmm. What a snake. I've waited so long to hear you say that. <laughs> But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. <laughs> hey, oh, there it is. Throwing it back. Why don't you go throw a football around, Tom? <laughs> I present the graduates of Harvard Law School. This year's class elected speaker with an invitation to join one of Boston's most prestigious law firms, L. Woods. <laughs> ah, <there's more. laughs> Passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of law. You must always have faith in people, and most importantly, <laughs> you must always have faith in yourself. We did it! <laughs> 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 He's gonna be a senator. There's always Barber. The UBS, UBS guy. guy. <laughs> they don't even give him a name. The daughter of the UBS, UBS guy. guy. Yeah. We knew it. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait, didn't we say this movie came out in 01? Yeah. Yeah. But they're class of 04. Class of 04. So, so they three years yeah, in they Harvard. Jumped. Yeah. You oh, know, God. Oh. 
doing this YouTube channel has been full of surprises, guys. <laughs> and uh, I, again, never in a million years would I have watched Legally Blonde <laughs> at any point. But this was a lot of fun. Um, Reese Witherspoon did just an awesome job of portraying somebody who has an incredibly upbeat attitude. Uh, usually doesn't let herself get too down. Always tries to find uh, the the good in things or to see a positive light. And that was really kind of fun to see, uh, you know, quite possibly in the running for the sweetest character ever in a movie. But she's definitely up there in this one. It was a lot of fun uh, for me. Bruiser kind of stole the show a little bit. He yep. was great. Uh, you know, who doesn't love dogs? And one who's accessorized that much is certainly going to be a lot of fun. But I'll kind of leave a lot of this to Oak, but I think you could definitely go as deep with the meanings in this movie as you want to, despite the fact that it comes across as kind of a, a silly, fun, kind of goofy movie. Oh, look, we're going to take a stereotypical blonde girl and we're going to send her to law school and she's going to be brilliant because there was a lot of a lot of prejudices in there early on, right? Mm -hmm. Like everybody was kind of projecting a little bit onto L and thinking, oh, well, what would you know about my situation or how would you know this or that? And everybody kind of had their opinions of her and, and she proved them all wrong. And, you know, you could have just as easily inserted somebody else into that role and you could have had the movie taken a, a very serious tone and, and kind of gone that route, but they decided to have some fun with it. Uh, they had a ton of, uh, actors and actresses in this who became you know upcoming stars or were stars already so definitely a, a big hit there yeah but uh, very good cast yeah it was just a lot of fun I thought whoever was the uh, did the set design in this should definitely get a raise because they went all out on the details uh, I think answer you caught a couple of them in her dorm room how the everything had like pink fluffies yeah, the pink on it fu and fuzzies it, it had a very good theme I don't know where Elle got the time to set up all her accessories in the uh, in the main yard area of Harvard while <laughs> she's watching everybody play football. But, you know, it's a movie and it's fun, and, I, and I'll go with it. But uh, I definitely did not expect to get this into the movie as I'm watching it. You know, it, it took a couple of turns there that I completely did not expect. Mm -hmm. I, I did not expect the main lawyer to turn out to be a total scumbag. Yeah, um, yeah. I thought... Um, Jennifer Coolidge's character would have a, a, a little bit more story. I thought there, she would have something like, you know, people doubted me and I let them yeah. get in my head and I thought they were right and, you know, whatever. I, I didn't take a chance on my future. I thought maybe they would go that way with her, but they didn't and it all worked out. And uh, Holland Virginia Taylor, that answer just brought up here, she was she was a lot of fun in this as well. You know, you knew from that first scene kind of what you were going to maybe get with her. So, yeah, this, this was a lot of fun, guys guys and i again completely blew my mind i'm totally uh surprised at how good this was splendid amazing <laughs> this was so much fun to watch especially watching with a couple guys just sitting back watching <laughs> legally blonde <laughs> and yeah like we'll we'll get probably into the big time of not judging a book mm -hmm. by its cover obviously but I thought the way they did it was brilliant. They really made her see, seem like she wasn't that smart until, remember, she's trying on the dresses, and so then yep, they, they try to get her. Oh, we can. We love the daddy's uh, credit yep, card holders, and then her. and right away she was smart enough to realize oh, that was last year's and all this other stuff. From finding out that uh, <laughs> the, the guy was gay, mm -hmm. so that way they wouldn't be having the affair. Yep. Like all those little things were fun, and then the cast was just amazing. Selma Blair was awesome in this. She, she like I mentioned it before, her. but she was just great in it with how she just she knows how to do the looks, doing the the rubbing oh, with the, the ring, ring on the back, just doing all that, and then even Victor. Victor Garber, or not Victor, I'm sorry, uh, Matthew Davis, who was Warner. I don't know if I've really, what I've ever seen him in. It looks like Vampire Diaries. He played football for the Patriots. But <laughs> that's what you keep saying. <laughs> but I even thought he did a great job yeah. in this, being yeah. his character coming around and just him being an, an, an ass as well. But this was so much fun to watch, so much. Like, there was so much light comedy in here. It was easy to get involved in. It was easy to laugh with and laugh at. It was just so much fun. Luke Wilson, I love any most things that he does, so it was great to see him in here a year or two before he did old school. So we even got to have that. And then, obviously, Reese Witherspoon was just uh, amazing. This yeah. was probably right as she was really starting to take off with her career in all one. So this was awesome to see at the beginning of this. And 
This, this was a fun movie to watch. It's, really, can fun. you scroll down just a little bit on background? Oh yeah, right that, 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 that was is, a book. This is interesting that uh, that she published Legally Blonde in 2001. Amanda Brown basing it on a real life experience. This is a blonde yeah. attending Stanford Stanford Law School. I had I had no idea. Um, so kind of what this is saying in a nutshell is that she, you know, was somebody who liked fashion and beauty and just had some struggles at, uh, at Stanford, um, which is interesting that I didn't know, uh, that this was based off of her own experiences. I'm not going to say based off a true story, yeah, because, but uh, yeah. you know, the, uh, what I love sure. is she said she wrote it on pink paper with a pink furry pen. So, you know, that that was definitely a callback to that yes. movie with her resume being on pink paper. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think it's. Um, I, th I think the lesson here is, is pretty clear. It's not like you have to dig very deep to pull out the lesson of don't judge a book mm -hmm. by its cover. Um, and you know, but there's there's also lessons about you know believing in yourself and doubting yourself, and and I think the reasons that we do things in life. And look, there's there's not a single one. I shouldn't say there's not a single one of us, but the overwhelming majority of us have probably at some point tried to do something to prove something <laughs> to an ex and and oftentimes um that's just being successful in general i mean I, i'll be the first to admit you know somebody breaks up with you and you know you're the one getting dumped sometimes there's this like i'll show them mm -hmm. and usually it's by either getting some sort of revenge with another person or by getting revenge rather through your your own successes and, and hoping that either the other person either wants you back because they see how successful you are or is just you know kind of slaps himself in the head for 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 letting you go um and this one obviously she you know was going to be a lawyer just to win this guy back um which uh, of course seemed very silly to the audience but you know if you if you peel away uh you know the all the the, the pink stuff and the blonde and the sorority and all that you know i'm sure that this is like i said this is a very relatable story for people like mm -hmm. you've broken up and you know you're gonna you're gonna prove somebody wrong so um i think that the heart of the story is is a very good story and something that's relatable for a lot of people of course they dressed it up to the oh, nines have to have with the sorority yeah. and the pink um and to have fun with it and and to make it attra attractive to audiences and, and things like that but let's not forget again this was somebody's um real life experiences and and obviously look it's it's on very polar opposites and and somebody might think uh or, or might not think that somebody like myself might be able to relate but i can absolutely relate and i i can tell you and i'm not trying to be overly dramatic but as a bodybuilder um, since I got into competing, um, I, I've been I've been just just judged left and right, and very much how somebody would look at a, a blonde on the surface. And I think that's an older thing. I don't think that's really a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that's more like a you know, like a seventies, eighties, nineties like blonde joke type yeah. thing. But I, look, I've spent the last you know twenty twenty five years of my life being uh, judged on nothing more than people's initial appearance of me. Oh, he's a meathead, he's gonna be stupid, he's gonna be arrogant, he's gonna be narcissistic, blah, 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 blah. How does it feel and, to know they're right? And, <laughs> <laughs> right? right? It, it, so it's it's very relatable, and, and oftentimes people look at you and they think that one thing that you're passionate about encompasses everything yeah, about you. you, it defines you as a person. Now, in some people's defense, the stereotypes generally have some sort of base somewhere <laughs> yeah. or other regardless of whether you know you can use those to, to kind of you know <laughs> to, to, to define everybody i do i do have a, a fun story about uh, another bodybuilder telling me that he, he knew of somebody quinn already knows the story dude oh, i'm yeah. telling you he got the negative three percent body fat and i was like that's not it's not there's not a Listen, you impossible. understand that understand that that's not a thing i'm telling you man that's just what i read i just read that he got the negative i'm like nowhere would have then he read a mess print. printed that they might have said three percent body fat which is attainable but very very rare Difficult. bro i'm telling you it said negative three percent body fat and, and, and so look i'm not unaware that he wanted to fight you about it <laughs> regardless of whether it's Either bodybuilders way. or blondes His dad had a or, or, or whatever stereotypes come from 
someplace. Um, and uh, I'm sure we've all met a blonde or a brunette or a, a blonde male or brunette female. And I think, look, I think those jokes go for blonde males too, right? Oh, yeah. You got uh, Barbies out in theaters uh, or, you know, in, and it, look, the Ken doll thing, right? I mean, mm -hmm. so it's not just females. But in any regard, um, I think the movie did a good job of kind of, you know, dispelling the myths that you can look at somebody, their hair color or their sororities or things they enjoy and just, you know, paint them with a broad stroke and, and, and saying that they're not intelligent, they're not capable. Um, but like, I also think there was a really good, like, believe in yourself yeah. thing, it, you know, but she almost lost that. Right. So I, I, there was, it was interesting because, you know, there was this, you know, believe in yourself. I'm going to go do it. I can do this. And she was very confident about her own ability to get into Harvard and her own ability to succeed. But it was that one thing that almost got her out yep. and then that one small thing that got her back yep. in which was which was interesting because like so many movies that we see are about like confidence and confidence and confidence but like look none of us are perfect and you know what it reminded me of and quinn's not going to want to hear this answer would like it but uh our, our 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 favorite sports movie of all time rudy here's a guy who believed in himself oh, here's believed in himself believed in himself and then like this one thing happened and he was ready to quit after s working so hard for so long. And then of course he had the janitor speech. Um, I, I don't I, heard, I I thought it was really cool the way they had the original professor. Like she was yeah. the one who pushed her back. Well, well, I mean, like Quinn pointed out, he's like, what, what's with this? What's with this camera view? And we're like, yeah. And then there was the great reveal. And I was like, I was happy that it was her too, because remember she, she kicked her out of class, the yeah, first, first class yep. and everything. So it was just great to see that come full circle. Yeah. And, well, and I think she was probably a little bit upset with herself too, the, the professor, uh, because she had judged her as well, you know, kind of mm -hmm. called her out now to be fair l didn't have her homework done the way she was supposed to but uh you know still i think she saw her as uh standing out in an otherwise pretty plain classroom and it's like oh, okay this is uh the obvious one here that i'm gonna kind of test and let all the other students know you know whose class it is and set the tone for the uh, semester so yeah i definitely think i really like that she was the one who came around at the end and just said a handful of words to her you know if, don't if let true, one dickweed uh screw up your future well, or yeah, I mean, if, stand if, in your if way you let that happen you're not the girl i thought you were as yeah. simple as that and then l realized like she did all this when she had a purpose when she was trying to get something and she just had to realize that you know i need to do this for me not chasing something else yeah that's an interesting point you bring up because she put in so much work to studying all the work and everything she put in so much work just to try to get warner back but then it was like she was ready to kind of like throw it all away and it's yeah. like geez um one thing i really enjoyed about this movie and and again it had been f two decades since i watched it i guess i didn't remember or, or didn't even pay close enough attention to realize how uh amazing um jennifer coolidge's character mm, yes. was in here and it you know the dialogue was funny but it was just she just provided that support and not like um like having the best advice for l or no. anything like that but sometimes like sometimes that's the best support like just, just somebody that you hug. can talk to yep. somebody that's just there's, there to listen you know I, there's her support system it, but i mean but i don't know about you guys but i felt like she added so much to yeah. the movie yeah she did and like i said she she added so much to the point i almost expected another little side story with her but you know who knows there's a sequel Maybe there's more or I was expecting her to be the one to make the speech, but they they did the right thing in the end. And then if you did not see this, it had a budget of 18 million and made 141 at the box office. Not bad yeah. for a comedy, and especially I, back in the early 2000s. And I feel like this one, and help me out in the comments below, and, and, and I'm sure it's somewhere on Wikipedia, but we don't want to get too much into that. But I feel like this is one that did really well even after theaters. Oh, like, yeah. I probably, like probably did one, really well at rentals and stuff. I feel like this one did really well on rentals and, and DVDs for you younger people out there. You didn't, uh, there was no ability to stream it. You had to go out and rent it or, or Yeah, or, or we were a few it. years away from Netflix even being a thing where you'd get DVDs in the mail right you sent right. away for them yeah i think yep. it was 04 05 right around then is when uh when netflix first yeah. became yeah. a dvd thing but no I, th I thought it was a great movie um don't judge a book we by its cover believe in yourself but also uh, but also i think it, it taught a really important lesson about 
it, believing in other people. We had Brooke, we had Luke Wilson's character, and we had the original professor, and all of their belief in her like played an important role. And, and, and the biggest thing for me is they were able to do all this and keep it a really fun movie. Yep, fun and and of course they won the, they won the case with the shoes thing <laughs> and, uh, and the perm thing, which was brilliant because it showed like, even if you're not like the traditional person as far as whatever, doesn't mean that you can't be successful. And I, look, I know nobody went to go see Legally Blonde to get life lessons, but, but they, they definitely there. gave us yep. some good ones yep. with a fun movie. And how about Bruiser? Bruiser, Bruiser. was yeah. played Our by guy. Moondoggy. Yep. All right, so what do you got there, Quinster? Yeah, for me, guys, I this movie taught me a lot because I prejudged this movie as well and didn't think it was for me, didn't think I would enjoy it, but Elwood's proved me wrong, and it's a 4.35 out of 5 answers for me. A lot of fun. I got a feeling the second one is really going to amp it up. And uh, yeah, just just a great time. A lot of fun, a lot of comedy, comedy which I loved, and then a lot of young hitters in Hollywood coming up. So I give it a four point five. Yeah, and I'm gonna go a four point two five. I really, really love this movie. Um, you know, it's 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 kind of a, a goofy comedy with yep. some good lessons. So I mean, for me to throw out just a four point two five, really good score. I think all the way around. Yeah. For uh, for three uh, for three guys a, a little bit outside of the target demographic for Legally Blonde. Well, I was in college when she was, so I could kind of put myself. In oh, that, you were at uh, Harvard. In that picture, All right, I was. So, uh, Harvard of the Midwest, Harvard. mind you. Harvard of the Midwest. Hey, and real quick, also Elle kept her secret. She didn't have to yep. tell her real she alibi. She did. So that was cool. That, that was. That was. I was wondering how they were going to get with that. So, once again, thank you for this suggestion for franchises. <laughs> So look out for a Legally Blonde 2 coming right at you. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Catch you on the next one, pals.